MMA rants and raves, Marius Pujanowski versus Yasugi Kamaguchi. This fight is supposed to be taking place on May 7th, which is not that far away, and originally he's supposed to be facing Robert Paxgau. It seems that that fight is not happening for whatever reason. So now he's facing uh, this Kamaguchi who happens to be a Japanese mixed martial artist. So let's talk about this guy. Uh, I happened to see his last fight and he seems from just his last fight to be a guy who likes to stand up, who likes to throw kicks like a kickboxer. I've seen a little bit of his ground game at the end of the fight uh, with the guy that he fought last time. It was a win. He did defeat the guy by decision. It just seemed at the end that um, both guys were kind of tired, so maybe that's why it went to the ground from the fight that I saw. And uh, it seems he's, he's an accomplished mixed martial artist from Japan. He actually has an 11-1 and record. So, you know, he's had some success. Uh, he's in really good shape, too. He's in good shape. He Physically, it just seems that um, he's well-conditioned. And it proves it because... Out of his last six, seven fights, most of them have gone to decision, besides the one he won by knockout. So when you have a fighter that can get deep into fights and win by decision, it shows that they have good cardio. So that's a good sign for this guy as well. So as far as all the fighters, well, Marius only faced one fighter that was a mixed martial artist, so to speak, in uh, Najman. So this is definitely going to be a step up as far as his competition is concerned. So let's talk about this guy. Physically, he's six feet tall, 216 pounds, 29 years old, so he's a young guy. And uh, he's accomplished, has a lot of victories under his belt, only one loss. He's going to be facing him in a hostile territory. I mean, there's millions of fans that want to see this guy succeed. Uh, Marius, that is. So he's coming to Poland to face him. This is not going to be in Japan. And he did make a bold statement to the press so to speak. It was a rumor, or maybe he made it, but from what I read, he made a statement that he is going to come to Poland and dismantle Marius Pujanowski. <laughs> That's a very strong statement to make. So this guy is obviously very confident, or either confident or cocky. But, um, wow. Interesting. So the words are already flying, and this fight supposedly is going to be happening pretty soon. So anyways, let's talk about this potential matchup. If it happens, <laughs> seems like it's going to happen, but I thought the Robert Pacquiao match was going to happen. But let's talk about it. And the first thing that I notice is a problem here, and the problem is for Kamaguchi. The problem is, is that he's only 216 pounds. So he's going to be looking at 64, 65 pounds as far as carrying all that weight against him. It's going to be a problem for him. I mean, this, whatever talent he has, I always say this, guys. I always say it. You can't teach size. When you have a guy who's, you know, a freak of nature. I mean, this guy is in incredible physical condition. The guy is, he's as strong as they come. He's the world's strongest man. There's no question about that. So, this is a guy who could take guys on bigger than he is, potentially, because he's so strong, pound for pound. He's just, you know, he's not the tallest guy out there. He's, he's about 6'1", 6'2". He's, he's, you know, he's really, really strong guy. And he's taken on a guy that's shorter than he is at six feet and only 216 pounds. So uh, it's, it's going to be really tough to handle a guy this big and to spar with him. And let me just mention one thing about Pajanovsky. His first fight, despite the fact that he really wasn't a mixed martial artist, uh, you know, he wasn't just boxing. He was throwing kicks, and these kicks were just ferociously powerful. I mean, guys, you watch mixed martial arts fights, you ever see leg kicks? They make that cracking sound, but the guy keeps them fighting. And let me tell you something, they hurt like heck. They really hurt. I know what those things feel like. They hurt. But it's methodical. It's like what Forrest Griffin does. He just boxes, he kicks and kicks and kicks and wears his opponent down. He's a cardio machine and he just ekes out a decision. But when this guy kicks someone, he just knocks the legs out from under them. That's how strong he is. I mean, this guy, Najman, he was over 200 pounds, and he was kicking at his legs. And he was, like, losing his balance. He was, like, flopping on his feet because of the power that was coming across. 
And the guy moves quickly, I can tell you, a guy this size, and he has to. In the competitions that he does, he's got to take cars and, and these heavy steel poles, and he pulls trucks, and he has to meet a time clock, so this guy has speed. He, he's like the ultimate human, this guy. He's as big and as bad and as solid and as strong as they come. So, like I said, you know, I'm the first guy in the world, let me tell you, if you ask me, if you have a talented guy who's very talented and very well-rounded and knows how to fight against a guy who doesn't know how to fight as good but is just bigger, I'm going to take the guy with the skills all the time, all the time. But when you have a freak of nature, when you have a guy who's really strong and really big and just physically gifted with speed, with strength, and a guy who's smart knows what he's going to do. Uh, I, you just you can't bet against a guy like that. You, one thing, like I said, you know, you can teach a lot of things. You can teach jujitsu. You can teach boxing, wrestling, all the different mixed martial arts. But you can't teach size. And this guy is the ultimate, ultimate strongman. And he is going to be very, very difficult to handle for a guy who's only 216 pounds. And also to his credit, you know, he's a mixed martial artist, but, you know, he really hasn't faced any high caliber fighters. So, you know, it's not like, uh, you know, he's a freakishly talented 216 pounder. But even if he is, even if the guy was, was on the level of a very high caliber fighter at 216 pounds, I would... I, I really wouldn't give him much of a chance to win the fight. It's just too much of a weight difference. It's going to be a big problem. And uh, like I said, I don't know exactly what Pujanovsky is going to be weighing in fight time, but chances are he's going to be probably at least in the high 270s, 280s, and it's just going to be too much for this guy to handle. So it just seems like um, it's some kind of warm-up fight for, on Pujanovsky's uh, standpoint because, you know, you just... He's facing Tim Silva two weeks later. I mean, that's insane. I, I, I don't know what he's thinking, but maybe he's just looking at this as a warm-up fight and he's really overlooking uh, Kamaguchi. He really shouldn't do that, despite the fact of the weight difference and how confident he is in his skills. You just need time. You know, this, this can be a disaster because if he does get hurt or something happens, the Tim Silva fight might have to be canceled. And that's the fight everybody really wants to see. Because... You know, that's going to be an interesting fight, you know. Tim Sylvia has, you know, a big MMA background, and that could be something interesting. This guy is really not that popular, especially, well, in the States. But anyway, the way I see the fight going is like this. Uh, I, I just see Pujanowski just exploding at this guy. He's going to come at him with such aggression and ferocity, with kicks and punches. He's just, I just see him overwhelming him. It's just too much weight. It's too much power, too much aggression. Let me tell you something, this guy is dangerous. He is really, really dangerous. I mean, he possesses something that no MMA fighter has. I mean, he's by far the strongest man in mixed martial arts. By far, you take Brock Lesnar, you take Carwin. I mean, he's, he's physically much stronger than these guys. And you can't teach strength. You know, this is a, it's a huge advantage. It's a huge advantage. I mean, if he's fighting Fedor, of course, I'll go with Fedor. But this guy's no Fedor, and he's even smaller than Fedor, he's 216 pounds. But anyway, my prediction is an early TKO. Uh, if he can get out of the first round, maybe second round, TKO. That's the way I see this fight going. I'd like to know what you think about it, and Marius Pojanowski's future in mixed martial arts. Please comment, rate this video, please subscribe, and thank you for tuning in.